All right, everybody, welcome back. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is Dima Foss coming at you with another video here, guys. So, uh, a couple of nights ago, I did a video on VIP 140 and the awesome defense that that gave at 135. And I talked about the Proctor mods that came out a couple of nights ago, which gave you a nice 3,000% defense boost. Now we're going to talk about the two newest releases that came out over the past 48 hours. So we had two major boosts that came out over the past uh, two days, guys. One of those was the, excuse me, was the Combat Lab set leveling. All right, so we have our Combat Lab here, which takes our gear to a whole new level, which I'm going to do in another video. And we have the Avatar boosts. That's right, Avatar boosts. What the fuck? So you remember earlier, like uh, we have like Nova Squad, and we had like uh, I don't know the different names for different um, avatars, right? Like, I I'm a person that has never really gave a shit. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. I haven't really cared much about the avatars. But now, look at it here. General, stepping up your style is just a start. Add to your avatar collection to rake in attack, defense, health, armor, piercing, accuracy, boosts. So now, guys... You can get boosts by having different characters in your actual loadout. How do I feel about this? I don't know yet. Um, what I can say is this. It really depends on how easy the characters are to get, which, which will determine my opinion on this in a later date. So right here, we have two main squads that are being shown here. We have Nova Squad. And we have uh, Oscar Squad. Um, obtain the full squad, blah, blah, blah. So if you look here, Oscar Squad offers 20,000% troop attack, 35% troop health, 1,400 troop defense, 700% armor piercing. Right now, guys, if you're a trap, you want the full set of Oscar Squad. If you can get it. But just a, a quick heads up, I've been talking to a few people on, on uh, online, uh, on the line application, that have bought about three to five packs uh, since this particular boost has dropped, and they still haven't got all of Oscar Squad. Some of them did, some of them got really lucky, but in the beginning, uh, to get this new Oscar Squad, guys, it's quite difficult. So, I'm waiting until my DBC expires before I buy any packs, and then I'll move up from there. But basically how it works, guys, you go into your collection, and when you have the avatar equipped, you get the boosts of that particular group, right? So we take a look here, like Mike Squad, 500% attack, blah, 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 Kilo Squad, 50% training speed, Bravo Squad, blah, 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 right? So let's actually go in and demo it really quickly. So if I go in to change my, uh, actually, I'll go back and show you that really quickly. If I go back in to change, you know, your personal file image here. Right, and I'm going to use this. I come in here, so you see I have the whole future set. But if I click this one here, all right, the, the collections. We have Oscar Squad, Nova Squad, Lima Squad, all the way down to Mike Squad, right? So I can open up this crate here and get all of Mike Squad, which is basically, you know, fuck all, nothing. Um, yeah, okay, okay, right on. So this is the particular squad from there. Uh, I do have the future soldier squad, but even the Bravo squad. Like I mean, I only had one at the time, right? I don't know what what boosts would, would come up with that. Now I did. I do have future soldier. So that's a hundred percent attack, five hundred percent here. So as long as I have a uh, any one of these guys here, I usually like to run the hunter equipped. I get the responding boosts for that particular uh, uh, avatar bundle, right? So let's go into Oscar Squad really quickly. The troop attack is 20,000%, 3,500% health, which is great, right? The troop defense is pretty sweet. It's an extra 1,500%, which is awesome, right? Because more defense is going to be better for us. We have armor piercing and we have the health uh, health bonus, which which is great. And I don't think we have uh, I don't think we have any accuracy. Yeah, no accuracy so far. So we have the Oscar Squad uh, collection crate here, which is pretty whatever. So uh, one of my main thoughts on uh, you know on, on the avatar boosts, 
Um, well, let's take a look really quickly what a pack might give you if, if we were to go in there. So the packs right now, at six, well, this is $65 Canadian at the moment, is giving you guaranteed 133 VIP. Okay, we got the enhancement crates, which are all there. Uh, pick your own attack, your augment set, which is great. Okay, Arsenal assembly bot and Arsenal bullets, completely useless for traps. Um, air raid mod sets, combat gear leveling, helpful. That stuff is helpful. The gear setting is, is helpful. Where is the actual pack or the mystery packs for Oscar Squad? And the other ones that are there. I can't see it here. Uh, da, da, da. Oh shit, it comes with the crane and the excavator. Ooh. Ooh. I might have to get this. Even before DBC is out, I, I really might have to get this. This is pretty sweet. Because I, because on this account, guys, I don't have uh, two of the land plots unlocked. Because this is my new main. Ooh, I might have to get that. Anyway, so the point I'm getting at, guys, is when you actually buy the packs. Uh, right now, they're not coming with a lot of mystery crate packages um, to fill up the what do you call it? The avatar places right away. So let's just look at some of the other ones here. So, like, if, if we look at the um, the pack here right so so it's a very specific pack toward the what do you call it the um set leveling and, and the combat lab which is great but that's gonna be in the next video but if you look at uh where, where are we to here okay two, two things anyway point i'm getting that guys because uh, i'm moving away from it here's what you got to know about the avatars okay i'll just break it down really simply i don't really have a solid opinion on it yet but what I think is, it's another way for the game to microcharge you on something that didn't really matter. I don't personally give a fuck about any avatar in the game. Um, but now they've attached boosts to it. Now it becomes another thing to collect, right? It's another level of complication that has to go into it, right? So, I mean, you know, some of these guys, these packages are going to be great for traps, of course. They're going to be great for attackers. I don't know. Personally, at this moment, I don't have a, a feeling on it. But I'll, I'll, I'll go as far as to say this. I'm not a fan at the moment. I don't really believe this is something they needed to incorporate into the game. And, I mean, what happens if you buy a pack or two and now you're missing one squad member... And now you had to buy another pack to, you know, to get the thing. This will completely be dependent on how easy it is to obtain the squad members. If you can get them from one pack or, like, two smaller packs, then I think this will work out pretty good. But if you have to spend, like, six packs to get one um, the one member, uh, I, I don't really believe that's going to be um, a good addition to the game, personally. If, if if we're looking at avatars, then it should be easier to obtain, in my opinion. Uh, that being said, guys, I, I do like the fact that there's extra avatars, but I, I don't know. What do you guys think? What are your guys' personal opinions about um, this new avatar boost and how it works and do you think this is a good thing that they put into the game, or do you feel that we don't really need it? Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think, because uh, I'm a little bit up in the air about it. So just uh, for my trap audience here, Oscar Squad is the one we're going to be aiming to get. That's the main one uh, for this boost here. So guys, if you made it to the end of the video, please give it a quick like and give it a share with your uh, Alliance members, guys. And please do let me know in the comments what you feel about these new avatar boosts. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Do you think it's cool? Let me know. Alright guys, my next video I'll be talking about the combat lab. So, see you in the next video guys.